Now, this was a dance theater, wasn't it? Or is it a cinema? Have you guys ever ridden a bicycle inside a cinema? Please raise up your hands who has experienced that in the Lokinas project. <laughs> okay, a couple. <laughs> so this couple probably already knows what bicycle cinema is. My idea was to use stationary bikes to uh, produce electricity and use this power for running movies. <laughs> now how does it work? We need a regular bike, we add a generator. Yeah. And we need eight sets of it all. We switch on a battery. It's slow, but in life it's quicker and a power converter. It creates 220 volts. And we switch on a projector, but don't forget to pedal to watch the movie. <laughs> this is how it looks in, in practice. This is ecological, sportive, and fun. I've introduced this equipment in various events, and people were very excited, although it's sometimes hard to pedal for a longer time. In 2010, I've been showing uh, God, movies in uh, Pasaka cinema and in open air screenings. This is ecological event Darum and a documentary Full Signal about how harmful mobile phones are. Did you guys know mobile phones can harm your health? Don't worry, bikes will heal it. Energy created by this equipment uh, was also used in open-air festivals. We all need to communicate at the events, right? But the phones discharge quickly, especially if it's an iPhone. <laughs> so people were pedaling, charging their mobile phones, and had fun. <laughs> this is another event. Uh, it's an opening of Vilnius University Library building place. So guys pedaling uh, the bicycles were charging up the speakers so that everybody could hear this quite boring speeches, I would say. <laughs> and I have a question. Do you guys know what's the world's biggest event of most crazy activities? Yeah, right. As far as, n as, far as I know, it's Burning Man. It has started 25 years ago, when Larry Harvey has burned a statue of a man hoping for the new things to come. And each year more and more people join finding this ritual awesome thing to do. I had a dream to go there for more than 10 years, and also a hope to build something there also. It takes place in United States, in Nevada State, and Google is not just for locating place. They usually take holiday and come to the festival every year. Almost 60,000 people bring together and build a real city, Black Rock City it is called. It's in the middle of a desert. It's with streets, radio, newspapers, airport. And um, in the daytime, it's up to 40 degrees temperature and in the nighttime it drops to 10 or even zero. Um, it even held static presentations. <laughs> yeah. And the audience? I find it a lot like you guys, only a bit more naked. <laughs> so Black Rock Desert is the harsh environment with sandstorms, heat, and nothing alive. But the spirit of the Burning Man brings life, colors, and entertainment there. It's a heaven of bicycles and alternative art. It's a lot about friendship and sharing. People share the food and drinks. No money is functioning inside the festival. Art cars attract a lot of attention. It's also a useful mean of transport in the city, which is 12 kilometers big. 
a lot of ritual stuff is going on. You can see volunteers uh, lighting up the main streets. And of course, they like burning the sculptures. It's like getting rid of the old, hoping for the new things to come. And these are spectacular sights. A lot of crazy people gather to have fun, right? Art surrounds you. It's also crazy, weird, provoking. And my contribution to the festival was the Cinema Art Project. I thought it's just right for it, but I had to build a whole cinema, you know. But I had a team of volunteers who helped me. Burning Man Festival also liked the idea because it's interactive, fun, and ecological. So they funded the creation of it. We came a few days earlier and started to build a do-it-yourself style environmental cinema. And here's a short movie about it. So we use the geodesic structure and advertisement billboards as a cover, bicycle tires as decorations. During the day, guys were coming to check out the idea and later coming back for the evening screenings. It's a bit quicker in the real time. And uh, we've been watching Lithuanian short movies with this projector protected from the dust. And uh, these were documentary, animation, and also Fluxus movies by Jonas Makas, who was happy to hand them out for this project. <laughs> now the little tent uh, is the one I have slept in after the screenings. Also, we have powered us some music, some mobile phones were charged this way, and they have cut the hair of the laughing guy in the middle. Also, they have used the Velo Cinema equipment for their electric shaver. Almost everybody was surprised that we came from far country Lithuania. And Lithuania is the only one in Eastern European countries to join the Burning Man community. We had a company of 40 Lithuanians, and Blukis is our theme camp, a uh, pavilion, a smart scene for activities. <laughs> mm. And do you, not, do you guys know what Blukis means? It's a tree stump, and also an ancient Lithuanian pagan tradition to drag an old stump from neighbor to neighbor, collecting all the bad energy, all the quarrels between neighbors, and then get together to burn the bad old things, hoping for the new light and positive changes. And American burners were very surprised that Lithuanians have a tradition so reminding burning of a man. Blukis was first time built in Vilnius in cultural night event. Afterwards, uh, parts of it were dragged to a nowhere festival in Spain. And then it was built in Chicago, eventually, brought to Black Rock City. Lithuanians were sharing food, uh, they were sharing their music in the evenings. Dust truth was introduced, so everybody could wash the annoying dust, you know, on your skin. And also national potato pancakes were served. Other burners were building theme camps, art projects, and art cars. Here are some more of those monster vehicles. Nightlife is even more spectacular. Burning and flames are crucial to this audience. That's why they are so-called burners. The main thing is burning a man's culture. It's a big and loud celebration. Another object of the burning is the temple. People bring their emotional baggage and everything they want to burn inside. They write on things, hang th pictures of their beloved. <laughs> A lot of spiritual things are going on around and inside the temple. It becomes more and more beautiful 
and feels like home in it. Afterwards, it also burns in flames, in complete silence of thousand people watching. So the festival is over. We're taking the little cinema down. And here are some things I have learned there. It's about cycle, the cycle of creation, existence, and destruction is inevitable, but it also can be an awesome thing to experience. Black Rock City, it's not an utopia and it has no borders. Very creative people make crazy ideas live here, but they also build local communities outside the festival. Sharing is living, loving, and believing. All the equipment I have shared with local burners, I hope they will use it for good. So this is it. Thank you. And I wish you to broaden your mind, look to ordinary things with curiosity, but most of all, dream and share your dreams with the others. Thank you.